little easy session of picks. Now we got half gassers, which I'm not looking forward to. These are gonna suck. <sighs> Conditioning is the bane of my existence. I'm trying to get through this without injuries, I can go left. You don't want to finish last shit! You don't want it! Workout day of spring training number one. Team meeting at nine. Stretch and throwing and all sorts of different stuff starting at 10.20 this morning. Um, so I'm living about 45 minutes away from Dodger spring training, which sucks. Uh, makes me get up an hour earlier. One thing about spring training, I know I haven't brought the vlog along for spring training before, but spring training happens in the morning. <laughs> very early in the morning. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. So if I wanna get my 10 hours in bed, I gotta be in bed at eight. It's like a completely different schedule for me. I'm on my way to the facility right now because I forgot to grab my glove last night and I don't have a glove at spring training yet. So if I'm gonna go through workouts today, uh, I'm gonna need a glove so I can do my job. It'll be interesting to see how everything goes today. I've never obviously been through it with the Dodgers, so interested to see if it's like the other ones that I've been through or different or what. That's the, that's the plan right now. Where's my glove? I guess that one works for now. Well, I settled on this one. Morning. Okay, so spitting in a tube is done, and next we gotta do blood work, which is gonna be somewhere here, I guess. All right, just hold it. Okay. Thank so you very much. Okay, breakfast. Normally, we would come in, we'd have breakfast laid out, we'd make a plate, and we'd sit down in this room. And there would be tables and silverware and people would sit and eat together and enjoy the morning. Except we're not allowed to do that this year. So we have set up outside where they're making little to-go uh, containers for us. Omelets, eggs, whatever. And we have to eat at our lockers or wherever we find fit. So that's what we got. Oh good, a plow wall. Do we have a clock? Do we know what time it is? I don't want to be late for my I think, first stretch. I think, I think we walked out at like... Oh. You, got, you got a time? Oh, I got time for like three throws. Okay, stretch is done. Odd thing, or not odd, but just something different than I've seen in most spring trainings. We do conditioning before we throw here, so I've got a good, good heart rate up and uh, play some catch right now. Do some PFPs, and that's it for the day. I got a lift too. Do as far you want. All right, that was PFPs. That's pretty typical for what spring training looks like. Get a bunch of guys on the mound, do some covering first from different angles, ball down the line, ball to the first baseman, ball to the second baseman, kind of in the hole between the first and second baseman. Do some bunts. We didn't do any pickoffs or uh, throws to second yet, so that'll be part of the daily routine coming up, I'm sure. So, done for the day, walking back to the clubhouse now and can change up. Uh, might get a lift in, we'll see what I have. But pretty typical for day one. All right, we got some PD light. Big fan of that. That's what it looks like inside. Outsmart your limits. Yep. Thanks, PD light. Appreciate that. All right, and this one is from. Oh, this. This gotta be some Nike stuff. Maybe this is my glove. Check that out. So that looks like an outfielder's glove. So that's for shagging, uh, for shagging BP. That's cool. What's in here? Nike Shadow, just a generic black glove. Last time I got one of these, it broke on the very first day that uh, that I had it. But they changed the uh, the way the web uh, attaches because of that. So this is a lot sturdier than the last one I got. So this will serve me well. Uh, they still have the Reds uh, inscription right here, so we're gonna have to get that changed if I, uh, if I, do, if I do use this. I'm gonna shower up and uh, head back home. It is a great morning to talk about First Star Logistics, a global shipping and logistics company dedicated to helping businesses do business. They're based in Cincinnati, Ohio, and they happen to be one of Cincinnati's 
the fastest growing companies, they do this with a fun, fast-paced work environment, a dedication to helping their people develop the skill sets they need to be successful, and an overall dedication to helping businesses. So if you have a background in sales, they're looking to add people to their sales force, they'll give you all the skills you need, and they offer the highest commissions in the game, which is great for you and great for them. So if you have an interest in it, you should check out firststarlogistics.com or you can call 844-699-6747 and tell them Trevor sent you. And with that, it's probably a good time to talk about some spring training logistics. What happens during spring training? What is the flow of the day? Well, generally speaking, uh, you get up really early and you get to the field around eh, 7.30 in the morning. For me, that would mean I would have to leave my house at 6.45, which means I'd probably have to be up at 6 every morning. Uh, far cry from what I do in the off season where I'm getting up at 10, 10.30 every morning. Uh, a lot of guys lift before activity. Some guys lift after activity. I'm someone that likes to lift after activity. I wanna prioritize my throwing in spring training and then get my lift in afterwards. So that allows me to get to the field a little bit later in the morning, which allows me to sleep a little bit longer. If you have any questions or anything you wanna know about it, you should drop those in the comments below and I'll try to answer a lot of your questions in the next vlog. Um, I know there's a lot to cover in spring training. And I'm trying to detail it all for you guys, but um, sometimes I miss things that I don't think that are they're interesting because they're just kind of normal for me, but uh, they might be interesting to uh, to you guys. So with that being said, uh, let's go do some stuff in the field. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Stretch done, weighted balls done, throwing done. I touched a dirt mound for the first time. First bullpen of spring, we'll see how this goes. Probably not gonna go too well. So that went better than I expected it to. Fastball command was pretty good. Hung out in like the 86 to 88 range, which is right where I wanted to be. For that bullpen first one, I felt pretty good mechanically. Uh, there's a couple of them that I got a little out of whack on, but I made the correction. So overall, I'd say I'm in a better spot than I anticipated, which is great. And uh, now we're gonna do some PFP, some picks or something like that, so. We'll see what we got. What do we got over here? Where am I supposed to be? What are we doing, double plays? Pick plays and bunt plays, all right. Two things I will never do during the year. Pick and bunt. <laughs> I just like throwing the ball to the plate, that's all. I'm gonna get so much face time being in your group. Man, my followers on Instagram is gonna go up. Oh, well, you wanna do more. Hey, I got a little easy session of picks. Now we got half gassers, which I'm not looking forward to. These are going to suck. <sighs> Conditioning is the bane of my existence. Blake, are half gassers hard? I'm trying to get through this without injuries. I can go left. Three, two, go. Three, two, oh, two go. You gotta want it! You gotta want it! Good Tessie, fellas. Thank you, thank you. Hey, can you edit that last part out, please? <laughs> <laughs> hydrate, hydrate. Grab a water bottle. I was gonna head home, but you called it a perfect time. Oh, nice. You know, I've actually talked about this topic uh, years ago before. Um, I've thought about this a lot, obviously. Like, you move the mound back two feet, that thing's gonna move an extra... 20 inches or something like that. So likely, like it's my guess that if you move the mound back, you'd increase the rate of strikeouts. Well, today is picture day and you might ask, Trevor, did you cut your hair for picture day? And the answer to that is nope. You might ask, Trevor, did you clean up your beard for picture day? The answer to that question is also nope. It sneaks up on me every single year. Oh well. Well, that's uh, another great thing about picture day. I have uh, this glove from last year. It's the only glove I have with me right now. And it has Red's writing on it, but uh, that's what we got for today. So we're gonna roll with it. I've been well. How are we doing this over here? What do we got? We're gonna have you stand right there. Yep. Here we're gonna read a couple of uh, lines for our international baseball partners. International baseball partners. Sounds great. There's my guy. That's right. Let's go, bro. What do we got here? Red dot. Red dot, okay. Sounds good, thank you. Last station over here? All right, what do we got? We got MLB photos. Your headshot, you ready? Not really. Okay. I didn't prepare for this moment. Where's my nearest tripod? Yep, it's talking in the 
So that was this year's picture day. Uh, normally, picture day lasts way longer than that. It's uh, like 10 different stations and video shoots and all sorts of different stuff. But because of COVID, those people can't come to the stadium. So nice and short today. How's it going? See you guys. All right, meetings are done for the day. Workouts are done for the day. Uh, I got out of my workout, went straight into a meeting with, I guess the, uh, the R&D department of the Dodgers, um, biomechanists and pitch design and stuff like that. So, um, you know, what, what I was, one of the things I was excited about when I signed here was the idea of it being a partnership between you know, me and the, and the organization to like help move baseball forward as a whole. So more players can benefit from the stuff that I've learned and from the stuff that the, uh, the organizations have learned. And so I can benefit personally from it as well that was a really fun meeting just really casual just kind of sat there and uh shot the breeze about baseball for an hour and a half um kind of couldn't bring you guys along because it's a lot of technical like inside information that uh you know we can't share but another big news nike just uh sent me these air griffies air griffies um all right check these things out they're kind of heavy uh here's the bottom pretty cool shoes honestly um not sure if i'll wear them or not but nice to add to the collection so cool that nike sent me those swing and a fly ball deep into left field back she goes 